Hello and welcome to another not a tutorial. All oh, uh, I know what you're thinking. This is weird. This is different. We can see your face. I know. We have. Uh, I feel like we've got to that stage in our relationship now where we can, you know, we can pull back the curtain uh, of the internet and I can say hello to you. Uh, I'm trying to be a bit more professional. Um, so that's what I want from these is just professionalism. That's what we're about here. Uh, so what are we doing today? Well, today I'm going to, uh, as promised in the title, you are about to draw the easiest animal in the world to draw. Okay? Simple as that. So let's do it. Here we go. Let's get a canvas. Uh, first of all, we want to, uh, we'll get a, uh, a new canvas. I always go by 4,500 by 500 um, is the canvas that I use. Um, you can use the same if you want. You don't have to. Uh, I use 300 DPI. Uh, so let's, I've got one set up ready to go. Uh, so here is our canvas. Now, the uh, animal we are going to be drawing, we may even draw two because they're so easy to draw, uh, is the humble seagull. Uh, so let's grab a pencil. We will go with the sketching pencil peppermint, which comes with Procreate, so it's there for you. Uh, let's draw a bloody seagull, shall we? Ah, ah! I do apologize, there is a ch good chance that I will be doing sound effects throughout this video. So aren't you lucky? Uh, okay, so seagull, These, you are gonna be blown away by how easy it is to draw a seagull. Okay, here we go. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna draw an L, but like a big bubble, bubble L, okay? So there's the top of the L, okay? Let's bring the L down, and then let's get the bottom part of the L, okay? Make it curvy, curvy L, okay? There we go. I know what you're thinking. That doesn't look like a seagull. Ah, oh. ah, oh, ye of little faith. Okay, so there's our seagull there. Okay, now eyes. Let's chuck in a couple of circles here. You can do whatever you want with your eyes. You can. Um, it's completely your own preference. Um, you can do big eyes like that with maybe a little a pupil in the middle like that. You could go for the literally just two dots if you want like that it's up to you i'm going to go for the the bigger eyes we go like that circle like that okay two eyes there we go that's now an l with two eyes it's confusing isn't it i mean eyes yeah anyway let's just get on with it uh now the beak <clears throat> straight out with the beak okay little hook on the end Okay, so it's, a, so it's almost a, another L. It's it's an animal made up of L's. Okay, so let's chuck in that hook there. Get that down like that. Okay. All right, and then let's just give him a little bit like that. Okay, and now we need the bottom of the beak, which is a bit flatter. And that joins on there. All right, there we go. There we go. Now you can see it, huh? Now you can see it. It's almost finished. All right. You wait. Okay, now we're going to put in his his wing on this side. So let's just from from the uh, that little back part there. Uh, let's just chuck in a wing shape. Now, what I would normally what I well what I will do is it needs to sort of curve like that. Okay, so it's a bit of a wing shape. We can have it even maybe coming a little bit off out from the from the L from the body of the L. Okay, straight down like that. Now, let's give him a tail, okay? Because they have tails, okay? Let's go up. All we're gonna do with the tail is simply a bit of that. A bit of that, all right? There's our tail. There we go. It's now a pigeon with no legs, all right? So let's give him a couple of feet, legs, things, stalks. Okay, so one leg is obviously gonna be behind the body. Okay, so let's draw a little pigeon leg here. It's got to be, th you know, make sure it's reasonably thin. They have thin little legs. Uh, now on this side, what we'll do is, we'll have it slightly up in the body. So we'll do another, another leg here. Now just give it a little U shape there, okay? And that just to signify that it's coming out of the body, okay? So it's not just sort of floating there. All right, now with the feet, 
you know, you don't, I mean, you can literally, you can do whatever you want, but I mean, I, I go nice and simple. Obviously, this is just the sketch part. We'll make it look prettier when we uh, when we ink it. Just do this sort of web foot situation. Now, that, there you go. You've just drawn yourself a seagull. Could make it a pigeon if you want. Really, it's up to you. Um, we'll, uh, now, what I'm going to do, though, to give it a little bit of interest, so it's not just sort of standing there. I mean, although that's quite cute, quite funny. Let's have him have one wing coming out, okay? And he's pointing, okay? So all we need to do for a wing point, make a little a V shape like that, okay? And bring this line down. And you don't need to draw fingers because he's a, he's a bloody bird. He doesn't have fingers, does he? He's got a wing. Do that, right? So now he's a seagull that points. Chuck in a few lines here to show that, you know, he's got his wing, like that. We'll do that over here as well, like that, all right. There you go. Pigeon, you've just drawn a pigeon in like no time at all, very quickly. So let us ink that and color it. So let's go on the layer, you double tap with two fingers, okay. Slide it down, okay. Now, new layer, inking. Use an inking pen, whatever inking pen you want to use. Uh, my favorite is one that comes with Procreate, inking, dry ink brush, okay? And let's, uh, let's get in there and let's ink. Let's chuck in his eyes. Now don't forget, <coughs> Procreate's got this wonderful tool um, whereby if you're sort of a bit jaggy and you can't draw a circle, don't worry. Draw the circle, keep your pen down on the screen till you get to the very end and hold down and boom. There you go, perfect circle. Boom, eyes, do it for them as well. So I meant pupils, I want to do it on the eyes. Okay, let's get the beak in. I expect to see the internet flooded with seagull drawings after this. All right, don't let me down. Giving him a bit of a nostril, just sorry, I should tell you what I'm doing here. Nostril, just the nostril there on the end of his old beak, okay? Now, this is nice and simple, straight down and around, there you go. Now people always say to me, and I do I have mentioned this in a few of my, uh, oh, okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, so all I've done here is put in a little, just to give these eyes, a bit, so they're just not flat against it. I mean, you could do that and have it flat on the face, that's fine, but I like to give it just a little, little bit of that, all right? A little bit of a brow, okay? Uh, so what I was saying was with, with my smooth lines, people, you know, tend to uh, be very nice and comment about how lovely my smooth lines are. I talk about this, I think, in most of my videos, um, but it is literally thanks to Procreate um, and um, their uh, Streamline tool that they've got. Um, so if you don't know where that is, click your brush, go to Dry Ink or whatever brush, it's all the same for every brush. Dry ink, and you'll see streamline there, okay? If you want the smooth lines, keep it up at 100. <clears throat> Unless you've just got a really steady hand, and you don't need it. But I do, because I, uh, I do not have a steady hand. No idea why that is. I'm just, I'm just letting you catch up. Okay. Let's get this. wing drawn again put in a few creases here okay so it just gives it a bit of interest maybe just make a few almost like it was a hand and they were knuckles gives it a bit of you know interest I mean you could again don't panic if you're going oh what, what are you doing you're changing things too much straight lines fine as well in fact I'll leave it a straight line all right let's do a straight line back of the wing this one you are going to just have to, you might want to just curve this slightly just to, because it's, you know, his wing. And again, let's just get these like that. Could even chuck in just another little extra one there. Okay, but then this is going to go all the way around and join up. Now that uh, holding down to that circle thing, that also works with curved lines as well. So if you're drawing a curve like that and you want a perfect curve, hold down. 
spoon and then you've got that perfect curve. <clears throat> you probably know all of this, but I'm just running through it just in case you don't, all right? Never assume. You know what they say about assuming? You should never do it. All right, let's chuck in his tail feathers. Now, all I'm doing here is I'm trying to make him look a little bit sort of three-dimensional um, by chucking in that there. Might not work. Eh, it's not too bad. Obviously, a pigeon's tail wouldn't be sort of squared off like that, but this is what we call a cartoon, everybody. So we can do what we want. It's called artistic license. All right, now let's get the bottom part of his body put in and join it up with that line there. Probably can do that again, actually, I think. Okay. Hmm, still don't like that, see? Now, this is probably because I'm not following my original sketch. I should try and... Again, this is why we love digital art, because we can just keep it going until we are happy with our line. You may have hit it first time. If you did, bravo. I'm not hitting it first time. I'm not even hitting it seventh time. Now starting to rethink that wine situation. Why can I not get... This silly bit of the bottom to work. Okay. All right. Let's just clean this up a bit. <clears throat> Stray bit of line there. Okay. So let's put in bottom leg. Don't want those other two bits. That's not necessary. Let's thin this out a little bit. Put a tad on the thick side. I'm just going to give this foot at the bottom. Again, just a little bit of visual interest. Not that many people will be paying too much attention to the feet of our seagull. If I've said pigeon during this video, uh, then I apologize. Uh, it, it, I, I'm, this is a seagull, but as I said, could definitely pass as a pigeon as well. So, let's see. Get the foot in here. Okay. Not the best feet I've ever drawn, but you know, let's just chuck in some lines here. Why? What are these lines? I don't know. I am not an anatomist of animals at all. I just know that there should be some lines here. Let's get rid of this line here, because that line doesn't need to be there. Boom! There is our seagull. Now the fun part. Let's colour him in. So, new layer. Underneath our inking layer, make our inking layer the reference layer. This is, again, this isn't, you know, 100% the way you should colour things. Just the way I do it. Okay, so, we're going to go, he's going to be grey, but I never do like a grey grey. I like a bluey grey. Okay, just my preference. Bluey grey. All right, so it's colouring in the wings here <clears throat> with the bluey grey. Tail feather with the bluey grey. Now, there is a recolour thing that you can use called the, well, recolour, if you're doing multiple areas. Um, but I've done them all now, so anyway, I just always forget. I just go, just go and just do it. Now, we can go white, white. I think I'm going to go white, white. You could always just go an off white. And if you're going to do an off white, I would potentially suggest doing like a cream. <clears throat> um, but I think for the interest, in the interest of this particular seagull, I'm actually, I want white, white. Beak, traditional, yellow, eyes, black, although I don't go black, black. We just go uh, like a, a gray. Because obviously we've got black line work and we don't want that to disappear. Feet will do the same colour as the beak. Uh, okay, this one. It's annoying with those lines in now. I'm having to. This is where I should be using the recolours. Use your recolour. Okay. 
Now, if that happens, it's just because your uh, crosshairs are in the wrong spot. So just drag it wherever you want, and then you can start just tapping. Boom. Boom, boom. Okay. There you go. Look at that. Seagull. Ah, ah, ah. You can get away with that being looking pretty good. Um, but obviously, we want it to sort of pop. Oh, we need to get some white in the eyes. Um, we want to make it pop, so we're going to give it some shadow. So let's get rid of the sketching layer now, so that's gone. Uh, new layer in between your reference layer and your color layer. Uh, let's click on this white. Uh, so I'm going to go the blue again, but I'm going to obviously go a much darker, almost black blue. And let's chuck in some shadowing. I'm going to say that the sun is sort of coming from this direction. So... Oh, hold on. I didn't, I didn't make that a clipping layer. Make it a clipping layer, or clipping mask, sorry. And then that way you can give them color without, uh, without it coming out of the lines. Okay. So I'll put a little shadowing under the beak. Like so, shadowing the corner here. Around the eyes. Their head. Okay, under this wing. Like so. Obviously, under here. Yeah, bring a bit of that because obviously the seagull's body is going to be casting a shadow onto its legs. Uh, uh. <coughs> Okay, let's drop the opacity. Oh, hold on. Well, we, I mean, we could drop the opacity, but let's just, for the full effect, let's get some shadowing underneath those wings as well, obviously, in these sort of bits here. Again, I'm not professional when it comes to shadowing, so please go and find yourself uh, a good tutorial when it comes to shadowing. Okay, let's drop the opacity down. We get something we like. A few more bits of shadow in here. Okay, now one other thing I'm going to do. So obviously the bird has feathers. I'm going to do a new layer underneath that layer. I'm going to get in a black black. And I'm just going to do this give it that sort of look of feathers obviously because the bird wing is made up of feathers and that just gives it a nice sort of you don't have to overdo it just put a couple in like that and bring the opacity down as well so it's not so harsh boom let's do a new layer put it at the very bottom uh, for this, I'm going to use a, a pen from BJ Dell, just because I like the, uh, this is for a shadow on his feet. Uh, you can get those um, pens, the cartooning pack from BJ Bell, uh, BJ Bell, BJ Dell. Um, reference, chuck that in the bottom there. Let's bring the opacity of that down, like so. If you wanted to, um, and you wanted, didn't want a, such a sort of harsh, shadow this is goes for the shadows you've done on the pigeon as well you can always if you go up to the, the magic wand tool um you can go to gaussian blur and hit layer and then you can just pull it, pull it like that but i mean i like just my style with that and i've just noticed that i think we could do with some shadowing down here on this foot i sort of left these foot they've left the foot out or the feet out so it needs a bit of shadowing in here, just to, so it's not so. Okay. Final finishing touch. There you have it. 
the easiest animal that you can draw is a seagull. If you would like to uh, call me out on that and say, nah, I've got an easy one for you, please let me know. Um, but uh, that is the easiest and funnest thing you will draw, I guarantee you, today. So do it. Have a crack. Uh, make sure you at me on Instagram and, uh, and show me your seagulls. I want to see them all through the internet. Let us wash the Instagrams with seagulls. Uh, <laughs> now, if you're new to the page, uh, please uh, hit subscribe. Uh, click that bell button. Uh, I'll be uploading these as often as possible. I know the page is called JK Doodles Daily, so uh, we'll try and do that for you. Uh, but yes, enjoy. If there's any animals you'd like to see me draw, uh, chuck it in the comments. Send me a message on Instagram. I'll see you next time, legends.